As a young black man, I have an obligation to my race of people, not to no other race or no other nationality, just to black people. And you have always hated us. We have loved you consistently for 400 years. We prayed to that white Jesus, and we saluted your flag, and we died in your militaries, and you beat us like dogs. Bilbo Jangles Robinson was the most famous of all African-American tap dancers in the 20th century. Born Luther Robinson in Renton, Virginia on May 25, 1878, his father Maxwell worked in a machine shop while his mother Maria was a choir singer. Maria and Maxwell passed away in 1885, and Robinson was raised by his grandmother. But Delia had been a slave earlier in her life. According to Robinson, he used physical force to compel his brother, Bill, to switch names with him since he did not care for his given name of Luther. He got the nickname Bojangles from Jangler, meaning contentious, and he invented the phrase, everything's copacetic, meaning tip-top. At the age of five, Robinson began dancing for a living, performing in local beer gardens. At the age of nine, he joined Mammy's Remington's touring troupe. In 1891, he joined a traveling company and later performed as a vaudeville act. He achieved great success as a nightclub and music comedy performer. At this stage of his career, he performed almost exclusively in black theaters in front of black audiences, developing his solo act. He took a break from performing to serve as a rifleman in World War I. Along with fighting in the trenches, Robinson was also a drum major who led the regimental band up Fifth Avenue upon the regiment's return from Europe. Robinson then transitioned to Broadway and Hollywood films in the 1930s and 40s. His delicate tap dance style and cheerful demeanor made Robinson a favorite of both black and white audiences. He could light up a room with his smile. In 1928, he starred on Broadway in the successful music review, Black Birds of 1928, which featured his famous stair dance. Blackbirds was a review starring black performers intended for white audiences. The show was a breakthrough for Robinson. He became well known as Bojangles, which presented a cheerful and happy-go-lucky demeanor for his white fans, despite the polar opposite meaning of the nickname in the black community. His catchphrase, everything's copacetic, reinforced Robinson's sunny disposition. Although he worked regularly as an actor, Robinson was best known for his tap dance routines. He pioneered a new form of tap, shifting from a flat foot style to a light swinging style focused on elegant footwork. starred in 14 Hollywood motion pictures, many of them musicals, and played multiple roles opposite the child star, Shirley Temple. His film credits include Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm, The Little Colonel, and Stormy Weather co-starring Lena Horne in Cab Calloway. Despite his fame, Robinson was not able to transcend a narrow range of stereotypical roles written for black actors at the time. By accepting these roles, Robinson was able to maintain employment and remain in the public eye. Robinson celebrated his 61st birthday publicly by dancing down 61 blocks of Broadway. Robinson was also involved in baseball as well as theater. In 1936, he co-founded the New York Black Yankees team based in Harlem with financier James Elmer. Robinson died in 1949 at the age of 71 due to heart failure. After a series of heart attacks, his doctor advised him to quit. 
1948, Robinson maintained that though he had trouble walking, talking, sleeping, and breathing, when he danced, he felt wonderful. He was virtually poor when he died. Much of his wealth went to charities in Harlem and helping random people on hard times. Robinson's funeral was arranged by longtime friend and television host Ed Sullivan. It was held at the 369th Infantry Regiment Armory and attended by thousands, including many stars from the entertainment industry. A eulogy by singer Adam Clayton Powell was broadcast over the radio. Robinson was buried in the cemetery of the Evergreens in Brooklyn, New York. On June 30th, 1973, his hometown of Richmond, Virginia, erected a statue in honor of the legend. Robinson remained a well-known figure after his death, particularly in dance circles. In 1989, a joint congressional resolution established National Tap Day on May 25th, Robinson's birthday. Additionally, a public park in Harlem bears Robinson's name, a way of honoring his charitable contributions and participation in community life. This is the story of Bill Bojangles Robinson. <laughs>